Hello, YouTube. This is another QAZ WSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today is going to be part three of how to make an FPS game in Blender. This is going to be a very short part um, because I just don't have enough time on my hands, but I want to get something out there for you guys. Um, and I think this will add a good bit to your game. Today we're going to be adding in uh, ammo pickups so that you can actually pick up more ammo as you go along in the game. So the first thing we're going to do, or the first thing you guys would need to do is model up a clip that you want to be laying around on the ground. I'm not going to waste your time with that because you guys suggested I should not do the modeling part, so I'm just going to add in a cube and scale him down. So the next thing we're going to do is select your clip, go to the physics tab, and ch check mark actor. Uh, something we want to do, and what what we should have been doing throughout the tutorial is actually naming our object, so I'm going to name this object Clip Pickup, like that. So the next thing we're going to do is, in the logic window, we're going to add a property, and we're going to call this property Clip. We're then going to add some logic here. We're going to add a collision sensor, an end controller, and then an edit object actuator. We can wire all of those together. And the add object actuator, we're going to switch that to an end object actuator. And in the collision property uh, field, we're going to enter in player, not payer, player. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select our boundary box and we're going to add the property player. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a collision sensor to our boundary box. We're going to look for the property clip. We're then going to add an AND controller. We're then going to shift select our gun sight here because that's where we put all of our aim logic. So we're gonna right shift select him and then we're gonna add an actuator to him and this is going to be a property actuator. Add the property clips value of one. And we're then going to wire him into that AND controller that we added to our boundary box. So now if we switch the camera angle, go full screen, you can see up in the top left there, we have clips equals three. If we walk forward and hit our ammo, our ammo pickup, it goes up to four. So now we have four clips of ammo. And so you can basically uh, just sort of duplicate this little clip pickup on around. And you can also do, uh, you can also do different type of clips uh, just by having different properties on them and having them add to a different gun or a different property or something like that. And if you want to get super fancy and efficient, you can use a Python script to actually figure out uh, what type of clip it picked up and add that to uh, a certain property um, on your player. And I may go over that later. But that's going to be it for this tutorial. Sorry it was so short, but like I said, I have just absolutely no time on my hands. I'm lucky that I got this one in. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.